Hello and welcome to another edition of Banished. We're going to be playing this one and trying to survive. Um, I think I've sort of got a handle on this now. All right, because the last couple of times we went through this, kind of it, it, it kind of got my ass handed to me. I got to admit, it was one of those things where it started off okay, and then I just grew too fast, and everything. You know, people started dying. It was terrible. So let's open up here with um, Poopville. Oh, something happened. Septimus is now hosting. Thank you so much for that, my friend. I don't know what this does. We'll just click it a bunch of times randomly. We'll do that. There we go. I like the valleys. Um, I like large. Let's do... See, I... I almost kind of want to start on easy because I get a herd of livestock and I don't know how to do that any other way. Like I would, I would totally start on hard mode just to uh, challenge myself and cause I really suck at this game anyway. Oh, fairy 2606. Thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate it. Of course. But, uh, I, I've never been able to find out how to get livestock unless they just give it to you on easy mode. But uh, maybe we'll find out here. I'm going to go on medium because I'm a man. I'm a man! And that's how men do it here. Uh, probably women too, honestly. So let's go ahead and load this one up. See how we can do. So medium difficulty, I think. We start out with a warehouse and nothing else except for people. I think that's how it goes. And I've got kind of an opening strategy in mind. I've been thinking about this for a while. I haven't actually tested it out. So this is going to be interesting to see how this works. But it's going to be a centralized location, uh, housing, and then we'll spread out from there. Kind of go boop, 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 and grow, grow, grow. Maybe do like little pockets of, of civilization around the map, you know, like this place, farming community, this place over here, the orchards with the housing and everything over there stored. So like everything's really self-sufficient, but uh, we started up, let's go ahead and pause it up here. Um, yeah, warehouse and a stockpile with quite a bit of stuff, decent amount of things. Uh, first and foremost, want to get the UI going here. Um, I like things right around this direction like that. So I can see what I, what's going on with my people. See the event log, people born and dying, all that good stuff. And then, of course, the lovely Poopville general information. So, we have a decent sized stockpile, but I want a bigger one. And because I want to clear all this out. It looks like we have a lot of stone and iron readily available, which is awesome. So that's what we're going to send these people out to do right away is clear out all this right down here. Because uh, we definitely want all that. Now, the second thing we're going to do is come out this way, I think. Now, actually, down here would be better. Would it? I'm thinking of a, a gathering post. So we want to go to food and we're going to go to gatherer's hut. I think down here would be better, to be honest. We're going to put it like somewhere like in here but I want to offset it a little bit I want to put it over here a little bit like so you know, like that and then we want to put a um, hunting cabin next to it uh, right in the area here as well um, let's see Right about here. And then we want a forester's lodge as well. We want to make sure it's in like a prime location. Like right here would be perfect. So let's move it over here as well. Um, make sure it's kind of lined up with everything else. So we can put a road in right across everything. Like so. Perfect. And connected up here but first over here let's go ahead and let these guys start moving a little bit over here we want to put a new stockpile 
and make it fairly large, okay? And make it like uh, 10 by 10, I think, is the biggest you can do. Yeah, 10 by 10, so right there. And we're going to build a road around that, just like so. Bada boom. And we're going to build houses around that, like so. Let's see, these are three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Eh, not exactly where I want it. Two, three. And we need, I think, two more. One, two. I believe we need five. But, I'm not sure. Um, so, what we want to do is prioritize the gatherer's hut above everything else. Um, since we know where our road is now, we can actually bring this out a little bit. Just kind of go around this, this house. Actually, this stuff's in the way. We can bring it out this way. We can speed up time just a little bit, but we don't want to go too fast too early. I, I made that mistake previously, is going to times five really, really soon, and it did not work out at all. Oh, yeah, we want um, storage behind you guys as well. Stockpile. Definitely want to stockpile out here. Maybe a few of them, actually. Yeah. That way, they have places to put this crap back here. Go ahead and move the road all the way around, maybe. Yeah. Make sure we're linked up here. Okay. Excellent. Um... So yeah, they're bringing it over here because this isn't actually cleared out yet. That we can't use these stockpiles. So let's let's do something like this, where we're focusing that stockpile and the uh, the building there. Pretty sure that's the gatherer's hut, right in that square, right there. Yep, that's what we need right now, like seriously, because that's going to be our food. Uh, we're also going to need a woodcutter's lot or woodcutter station. That's going to be back here, probably next to the warehouse. Kind of like that. Yep, just like that, actually. Alright, cool. So they're using these stockpiles now. This is ready to go. We need a builder. Let's get two builders going because we don't really need that many workers at the moment. And we want to clear this area out next. Like this right here. That's what we want to do. And I'm kind of micromanaging these guys a little bit, but we definitely need them to focus in on making a path to here. You know, clearing a path so I can make another road out to all this stuff out here. Definitely important. Uh, Here's one of our builders, hopefully. Yeah, builder. And we can put four gatherers in here. They're going to gather so much stuff out here. Because it's going to be all wooded area. Because we're going to have the Forester's Lodge rebuilding the forest as we cut it down. We're going to have the hunting cabin out here to hunt. So it's going to be a good little, good little nature area out here. Which is uh, definitely what we need. We can go ahead right now and speed it up a little bit more. To be honest. Because we're not doing anything specific. We're just letting them clear this area, letting him build. That's totally fine. And they're they're just stockpiling all this stuff up here. I like it. Both builders are up here now. That's great. Because we're down to fifteen hundred food. That's gonna go rather quickly once we get rolling here. Um, especially once we get the people into housing and they can actually 
four people in here, the maximum that we that it says we need. You see down here, uh, it says we need 18 builders, and that's just because we have so much crap going on. We really only need a couple of them. Gatherers at one and four total or max to do this. Uh, hunting cabin, we can have three. Let's go ahead and do that. We get them coming in with some with some stuff. And once we get this forester's lodge, it's going to want uh, four people there as well. But I'm only going to put like one for now. Because we're not going to run out of wood anytime soon. Because we're, we're, we're chopping all this stuff down, basically. And my goodness, it was a good idea to put the, uh, the, the, the bulk storage back here as well. They're definitely utilizing that. So, I mean, tons of iron, tons of, I mean, super tons of iron, which is great to start with. A lot of rocks. I mean, this place is really, really nice, it looks like so far. Lots over here as well. Holy crap. Just, I mean, stuff everywhere. So that's great. Wood is going to be a renewable resource for us because of the forestry hut once it gets done. We're in early summer, so housing isn't the top priority just yet is getting there. It is getting there. Okay. We definitely want to clear these out as well. And these. And we want to, still want to prioritize those, to be honest. Alright. So yeah, we're, we're gaining food here. We have berries coming in. We've got mushrooms coming in roots coming in and we're gonna have venison pretty soon once we uh, get the hunting going really solid once this becomes really thick forest the hunting is gonna increase quite considerably to be honest um, you know, they're clearing this out I finally maybe almost have a path out here I don't think so just yet though so we can get it started anyway yeah, we can get it started out to here and that'll be fine. Oh, we have a house done. Sweet. Another one on the way. Awesome. But we're really concerned about this right now. This right here. That's what I want more than anything. Another house. Very, very good. Alright. Once we get this cleared out, I can finish the road. Oh, Irelani has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Cool. We're going to do good this time. I feel it. I feel it. We also want to destroy this at some point. This uh, thing here. The reserve of firewood is low. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. It's completely gone. So we actually have to prioritize this now. We only need about one builder at the moment. Maybe we can finish our road here as well. Yes, we can. Awesome. So now we have a road coming out here all the way. Um, these guys are going to start pumping resources into the woodcutter's shack. Only going to need one woodcutter, so we have three people available. Four technically with the builder there. So we're looking okay. Looking okay. We could put a fish hut over here. Or fishing dock in this area, you know, in this general vicinity. Well, I wish this hill wasn't here. That would be great. I wish I could terraform. That would be even better. Get your shovels out, boys and grills. Terraform. But, uh, we can't do that, unfortunately, in this game. Uh, let's see. So we still have a lot of potatoes. Yeah, we're we're gaining food now, even though we're consuming it at a rapid rate. So we're, we're gaining from the gatherer and from the hunter quite a bit, which is nice. Another thing we're going to look at, tailor and blacksmith. Stored tools, stored clothes, kind of getting low. Um, with every action these guys are doing around here, cutting a tree, chopping a or, you know, mining a rock or iron, building anything, I mean, they're consuming these tools. 
and we actually want to do 1,000 as the maximum firewood here. We want where's our food thing at here? 50,000 food. I'm just gonna like go crazy with the stuff, right? And so there we go. We definitely need houses now because we're in autumn. So forget everything else. Get these houses done, guys. Get these houses done right now. Top priority, guys. Get the houses done. I know Calvi and Paulette and Amon are doing great. Forrest and Abrilli and Roberti are doing fine, but nobody else is. So we got to definitely get this in high, kick it in high gear, guys. Have to, have to, have to, and we still have the Forester Lounge. Forester Lounge? Forester Lodge, in fact. <laughs> still don't have that going on, but uh, we're looking at three new houses coming in. Coming in hot. Let's go ahead and get another builder on this. It's two builders because it just got winter time. This is terrible news, guys. Terrible, terrible news. We have people with the, without houses, and it's snowing and late on. Now it's early winter. Everybody's going to start freezing to death. Crap. Now, like, everybody just jumped into that house, man. Oh, crap. All right, come on, guys. Come on, builders. Let's do it. Get it done. There you go. Here we go. We just got one more after that one. Let's see how many people pop in here. Oh, nobody? Really? Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, that should be everybody with a house. That should, there's one person. Why are, who are you? Macquarie the Gatherer. Why don't you have a house, Macquarie? There's so much room here, buddy. Why aren't you guys letting Macquarie in? All right. You want to play it that way? Fine. Fine. We can play it that way, guys. We'll just build Macquarie his own freaking house. How about that? How about that? Why is this saying no? You have logs. We don't have any firewood. Why are you stopping? Is it because we don't have any logs left? That could be. That could be. We only need one builder right now. The next thing on the agenda is we just lost a ton of food probably just to fill up the houses but we need farmland so we definitely need to get this area cleared out okay so now there's two people without a house maybe Macquarie and whoever this is mess Macquarie whoever this is stop 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 Macquarie and Kara can like be betrothed in this lovely wooden house we're about to build for them. It would be amazing. Then they can have little little babies. They have little babies. Alright, we're getting some of the kids are growing up. That's fan friggin' tastic. We definitely need a close to We actually need more logs than anything else. Let's just make sure we're set to uh, get all this stuff here. Go ahead and prioritize it after this house is done. The house is done. So we prioritize all of this right now. Macquarie and Kara, oh baby. Awesome. Man, as fast as this guy can make firewood, they're using it up, which is fine. We're in early spring now, so I missed my opportunity during winter to set up some farmlands. So we're kind of in trouble right now. What we want to do slow this down a little bit more we need some fish coming in because I failed to get the uh, farms going soon enough so that's that's the problem at the moment and apparently I've got to come down here to do the fish 
Actually, apparently I can't go anywhere to do the fish. Can I go here and do the fish? I gotta go here and do the fish. Right there? That seems excessive. Let's just come back over here. There must be a way to put it in here somewhere. Come on. Why can't it be right there? Why not? Can it be right there? It says it can. Is that actually going to work, though? That's the question, isn't it? So, we want to prioritize this so we don't start to death. And... Yeah, that's fine. Bringing food in? Yep, so, so we're, we're still bringing in food. However, we're consuming it at an alarming rate now. Um, children are being born, basically. That's, that's the issue at the moment. Is children are being born. We need farmland immediately. Fifteen by fifteen will do. Almost have this one ready to be built. That would be absolutely wonderful. Whoa, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way around these rocks and want the rocks to go away. So yeah, we, we've, we've kind of missed our opportunity to plant, maybe. But even if we didn't, I don't think we're going to clear this off fast enough to actually get farmers in there. We only have just enough people. Because we're going to need four people for this farm. once it's even ready to be planted so and, and worked so that's a problem we need some more logs guys we definitely need some more logs let's go ahead and get some logs over here come on guys this guy yeah he's 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 stopped because we're out of logs we still need tools, we still need to build all kinds of stuff. So this guy is going to actually come down to about a hundred at the moment. And he's going to stick to that for now. That should be fine to get us through the winter. And then, yeah. This is almost done too, so... Late spring, yeah, I think we missed our chance to plant that, so... A little bit of a problem. Um, Fishery is going to help out, but then we don't have enough people for everything else, for the farm and the fishery to have a maximum amount of people there. And we still have this to build, which is it wants four people too. Uh, so we may have to bring down the hunting and gathering a little bit to make sure we get this farm going. Because the farm is going to save us. That's the one that's going to feed us entirely. So, these things can suffer for now, as long as we get this going by next spring. That's the important part at the moment. Okay. Pretty much got the trees out of there. Prioritize the farm. Got to get it prepped and ready for next spring. And maybe we can actually... Plant it. Just plant it late, harvest it, or harvest it late, and hope for the best. But I don't think that's even going to be an option at the moment, to be fair. Alright, this is ready. We can do wheat. I think we'll do wheat. We want four people there. Are they going to plant it right now? Late spring. You can still do it, guys. Come on. You can plant it. Please. Are you a farmer? You're a farmer. Are you you're planting? Amazing. Yes. So we might get a little bit out of this. We're not gonna get a max yield or anything, but we're definitely gonna get something out of this. Which is great. 
We're, we're running. We're, we're eating our food faster than we're getting it. Okay, this one's almost done. I hate how you, you when you prioritize something, you have to tell them to do the thing they were doing before. Yeah. I don't like that. Zero percent yield still. Maybe it's maybe it was too late. But they're still working it. They're still working the farm. And if this works, it's going to be freaky good. Got to tell you. But I'm not sure it's actually going to work. It still says zero yield. So I don't. I don't even think they're planting anything. But we do have two types of seeds, so that's cool. So we can do potatoes as well. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes you just get the one seed and the one type of food. Kind of poopy that way. So the fishery is done. We don't really have anybody put there. I'm, I'm kind of banking on this. Okay, I see it growing right now. Okay. So I'm kind of banking on this doing okay. We can I actually take maybe uh, a gatherer out and then put them in the fishing. Thing. That might be okay. Just to have a little bit of fish coming in. I don't know that that's actually going to be different or better. Maybe gatherers are better than fish or fishermen, but it's, it's at least it's closer to the thing. That's the only thing I can say about it. Okay. Whew. This is stressful, man. Really stressful. But the wheat field is coming along okay now. It's early summer now. Uh, sort of so late. And that's totally my fault. Entirely my fault. Um, we definitely need the forest to lodge done next. So let's go ahead and prioritize that. Get these guys out here to, uh, to work on that. Only need a little bit more logs. Should have enough for now, maybe. Should have enough for that, and then that's going to help us get more logs. But we we run out of people, so we need some of these some of these kids to grow into adults now. That's so we had Elaine was has become an adult. A child named Dennis was born, and a child named Velanet, and someone named Ane was born. So we had one turn into an adult and three were born. So what that means basically is one is now a productive member of society and three more were put into that non-productive place. <laughs> and there's, there's really no good way of saying it. It is not really an insult. But kids in this game are completely worthless except to think about the future. They don't, they don't give anything to society. They only consume resources. So, that's the only problem with them. In this game specifically, okay, don't read too much into that, but having kids around means you have a future in the game, but in your village, but at the same time, it's like, man, all these mouths to feed, I mean, you know, they're just, they're just eating and using firewood. And, hey guys, thank you so much for dropping by and checking out the channel and the video today. Uh, if you want to join us during the live stream, go check out twitch.tv.com slash Lothans. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Lothans TV. If you happen to be a streamer or a YouTuber or both like me, you definitely need to check out itagback.com. It's where I live anymore. They have a wonderful Discord with a lot of wonderful people. Check them out now. And if you happen to be an eSport enthusiast or just a player looking for a home, you got to check out icstudios.org. The Identity Crisis guys are a competitive eSports organization. Go check them out immediately. And uh, tune in next time to see what happens in Poopville.